Guys, we've all done it, and I admit I do it wrong, is I have a big cable, and yeah, I have my basic strippers, and we just gnaw this through. This is not the right way to cut a cable. Can I say, Tim, that looked really terrible. Well, Tool Fox, show me how to do it the right way. Okay. This guy here, the Cut Fox 18, nice angled head. But look how the blades are kind of angled as well. What's cool is you just did that how many times with yours? Couple. Now what's the advantage of the angled head? It allows your arm and your hand to stay straight when you're cutting. But the angled blade as well gives you the clean cut. It doesn't squish the cable either. It doesn't right. gnaw on it. What else you got there? Got these guys. <laughs> I, I don't think I have any cable today for us to demo that. What, do you have anything smaller? We do have smaller cutters, but again, you see how the blade is angled? Yeah. So it enables you to not have to mutilate your cable when you're cutting it. Okay, so I see there are two in this one. What, so is it just cable size, just giving you two options? Mm-hmm, okay. smaller wires, because you don't want to mutilate <laughs> your wire. I, at least I was honest. I appreciate it. They also have a good feel to them, just like I'm learning that most of the Tool Fox's tools have. These here are VDE, 1,000 volt safe. And also, this is not a straight action, is it? What's going on here? With all of our cutters, our center access point is as close to the blade as possible. That gives you better leverage. If you look at some of the other competitors that you, you'd find in the box stores, their center access point is in the center of the head. Now that we know how to cut our wire, strip our wire, and ferrule our wire, when should we be torquing? Click here to find out when.